Hello, students of class four. Students, I have already finished four lessons and two poems of Wordsworth English Reader book. Now today, I'll be starting with lesson five, Gulliver's Travel of Wordsworth English Reader book. So those of you who have got Wordsworth English Reader book, Please take out your books and turn to page number 39, Gulliver's Travels. And I'm sure all of you must have completed all the exercises, question and answers and writing section of the taught lessons in your English notebook. Students, today I'm going to start with lesson 5, Gulliver's Travel. The name of our lesson 5 is Gulliver's Travel and it is given on page number 39 of your Wordsworth English Reader book. So those of you who are having the new edition of Wordsworth English Reader, please turn to page number 39, lesson 5, Gulliver's Travels. Lesson 5, Gulliver's Travels. Have you heard of Christopher Columbus? Children, have you heard of Christopher Columbus? If not, then you must know that he was the famous sailor who sailed across the world in a ship in search of India. But instead, he reached America. Children, long back when technology was not developed that time Christopher Columbus he started to sail in search of India but instead he reached America and on his way he faced many adventures. Now some people are adventurous. Now what do you mean by adventurous children? They like something exciting which is not common and they like to face the problem. They take the problems as challenges and face them. So some people are adventurous like Columbus. They want to try new things. They want to face difficulties and overcome those difficulties. Then there are other people who are adventurous but only in their thoughts. Students, some people are adventurous and they keep on trying new things and they brave the problems with their hard work and determination. But on the other side, there are some people, children, who are adventurous only in their thoughts. adventures They do not do anything, but they just think about adventures. One such person was Jonathan Swift, an Englishman who was very imaginative. And aise log beta jo khali adventures ke baare mein sochte hain. And bhoot kuch imagine karte, they fantasize a lot. And one such person was Jonathan Swift, an Englishman. He was an Englishman. And he was very imaginative. Wo bohut, bohut kuch imagine karta tha. He wrote a delightful story. Delightful means joyful. Delightful story of a sailor who visited strange and unique lands in his quest for adventure. And beta Jonathan Swift, an Englishman, tha, he was so imaginative ki uske imagination made him write a story. And it's a very joyful story of a sailor. Sailor, one who travels, sails and visits new lands through his ship. So, a sailor ki story hai beta usne likhi. And it's very interesting, full of adventures. Hmm? Or wo, he, that sailor, he visited strange and unique lands. Or wo bohut strange. Jo kabhi kisi ne naami nahi suna, aise lands ko sailor ne visit kiya. Apne ship ke saath. And in quest for adventure because that sailor was very adventurous and he always wanted to try something new and exciting in life. So he set sail on his ship. 
now we'll be reading about that sailor only and children this lesson gulliver's travel is is jonathan swift's most famous work in english literature that tells it about the adventures of lamuel gulliver a ship's doctor beta ye jo gulliver's travel lesson aap padhoge ye jonathan swift who's a writer of gulliver's travel ek book hai and usme se ye lesson liya gaya hai it's an extract or the story gulliver's travel is about a doctor whose name was dr lamuel gulliver ek doctor tha lamuel gulliver wo ek ship pe doctor ban ke gaya because he wanted to uh, face adventures he wanted to try something new so he became a ship's doctor and then he started sailing with the ship and on his way he faced so many adventures bahut sare usne adventures beta face kiye a number of accidents and finally he ends up visiting several unknown islands aur bahut usne aise aise islands uh, explore kiye jiske bare mein kabhi kisi ne suna bhi nahi tha jana bhi nahi tha and wo islands pe bahut ajeeb tarah ke log aur animals the the story is an extract from jonathan swift gulliver's travel so डॉक्टर लैम्यूल गिलीवर दिस स्टोरी वट वी आर गोइंग टू रीड ये दो पार्ट में अभी हम बेटा फर्स्ट पार्ट पढ़ेंगे इसमें डॉक्टर लैम्यूल गिलीवर जो है वो डॉक्टर है एंड वो अपनी कंट्री छोड़ता है शिप पे सेल करने के लिए ही टेक्स अप जॉब एज ए शिप डॉक्टर एंड जब वो ट्रेवल करता है बेटा शिप में तो उसको कई अनयूजल एक्सपीरियंसेस वो फेस करता है और वो ऐसे ऐसे आइलैंड्स पे बेटा विजिट करता है जहाँ के आइलैंड के जो इनहेबिटेंट्स हैं इनहेबिटेंट्स की मतलब जो वहाँ के लोकल आइलैंड के लोग हैं वो बहुत स्ट्रेंज हैं नॉट नॉर्मल लाइक वी ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड वहाँ पे स्ट्रेंज पीपल से मिलता है स्ट्रेंज एनिमल से मिलता है तो दिस स्टोरी व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू रीड इज अबाउट डॉक्टर लैम्यूल गलिवर्स एडवेंचर नाउ आई स्टार्ट विद द स्टोरी चिल्ड्रेन नाउ फर्स्ट आई go through all the word meanings that are the new words which have come in the lesson so that you easily understand the meaning children the first word is adventures adventure means unusual and exciting experience unusual beta which are not common which are different and exciting experience which involves a lot of excitement thrill fun so this these are adventures second distant distant means far away beta jo bahut dur ho distant far away adventures unusual unusual means not common an exciting experience which involves lot of thrill fun and excitement distant means far away something which is very far then the third word is fascinated fascinated means strongly attracted strongly attracted जिस जो चीज आपको बहुत फैसिनेट करे अट्रैक्ट करे तो दैट इज नोन एज फैसिनेटेड द फोर्थ वर्ड चिल्ड्रन इज वॉयज एंड वॉयज मींस लॉन्ग जर्नी जनरली लॉन्ग जर्नी बाय सेलिंग वॉयज इज लॉन्ग जर्नी बहुत लंबी जर्नी इट मे टेक मंथ्स इट मे टेक इयर्स देन द फिफ्थ वर्ड इज वॉयलेंट वॉयलेंट मीन्स वेरी फोर्सफुल और पावरफुल बहुत फोर्स से और बहुत पावरफुल से जिसमें मतलब फिजिकल पावर बेटा इन्वॉल्व हो दैट इज नोन एज वॉयेंट देन सिक्स वर्ड चिल्ड्रन इज ब्रेविंग ब्रेविंग मीन्स टू फेस विथ करेज ब्रेविंग मीन्स टू फेस विथ करेज कोई भी चीज जिसका आप हिम्मत से सामना करो everyone faces problems and difficulties in life but then one has to brave it so braving here means uska himmat se samna karna not run away not fly away now children our seventh word is drove and drove means pushed 
Draw means push, dhaka dena. Then, the eighth word is split. Split matlab to break. Tukde tukdo mein bikhar jana. Split means to break. Tukde tukdo mein bikhar jana. Then, ninth word is scattered. Scattered to spread in different directions. Jisko kehte na chitar jana hindi mein. Matlab charo taraf fail jana. Usko kehte hai scattered. To spread in different directions. To spread in different directions. Then, children, the tenth word is exhausted. Exhausted means very tired. Jab aap bhoat buri tira se thak jate ho, to aap kya ho jate ho, beta? Exhausted. Bhoat jada thak jana. That is exhausted. Then, the eleventh word, children, is drag. And drag means to pull. Kheechna. Drag means to pull. Drag means to pull. Then the twelfth word is limbed. Limbed means walked with difficulty. Generally, जब हमारे पाँव वगैरह में चोट हो जाती तो हम थोड़ा घसीट के चलते हैं या लंगड़ा के चलते हैं उसको बेटा क्या बोलते हैं? Limbed, walked with difficulty. Children, then there are three phrases also given. Let's go through the meaning of the phrases. The first phrase is given on page number. 39 and that is set sail. Set sail means to start a journey. Yahan pe since the Dr. Lamuel Gulliver, he is going to start his journey in a ship. So here set sail. Set sails means ship se apni journey ko start karna. He will be sailing in the ship. So beginning his journey on a ship. So start a journey. Sail beta. कि वो पानी में शिप से जर्नी करेगा, so here it means to start a journey by sailing on a ship. Now the next two phrases are given on page number forty. The first one children is row clear. Row clear means to move away using a boat. आप बोट को रो करते हो, है ना? तो using a boat to move away. Up, uh, at times, you must have seen in movies like Titanic and all. Ship pe, when the ship was about to sink, people ko boat se uh, nikala gaya tha ship mein so that they can go to the shore. So, yaha pe row clear to move away using a boat. Aap boat se move karoge. That is row away. Because boat ko hum row karte. Ship ko hum row nahi karte beta. That is the difference. So, to move away using a boat. We row a boat and then only the boat moves. So, row clear means to move away using a boat. And then children, the third phrase is to make out. To make out means to see. Dekhna. To make out, to see. To make out, to see. So, we have read three phrases. And the meanings are, first one was set sail, which means to start a journey. Set sail means to start a journey journey to begin a journey second phrase is children row clear to move away using a boat to move away using a boat up row say beta you try to uh, remember it row because we row a boat in order to move the boat so to move away using a boat and the third phrase is children to make out and to make out means see to make out means see Now children, I'll read the lesson for you. Please listen to me carefully and listen to my pronunciation so that you also pronounce the words correctly. I'll start from the beginning. Some people are adventurous like Columbus. Then there are other people were adventurous, but only in their thoughts. One such person was Jonathan Swift, an Englishman who was very imaginative. He wrote a delightful story of a sailor who visited strange and unique lands in his quest for adventure. Now I will be starting with the lesson. I am only 42 years old. Still, I have already had many strange adventures in my travels to far-off lands 
of the world strange adventures aren't what you had expect from someone named dr lamuel gulliver but being a doctor in london just didn't satisfy me traveling to distant lands in the worlds always fascinated me so after qualifying as a doctor i signed up as a ship's doctor and spent three and a half years sailing around europe i accepted an offer from the captain of a ship named antelo to be the ship's doctor on a voyage to the south seas we set sail from bristol england on may 4th 1699 and after peacefully crossing the south seas we were hit by a violent storm off the west coast of australia poor food and too much work while braving the storm caused the death of 12 of our crew and weakened the rest so when the wind drove us onto some rocks and split the ship apart only 16 seamen myself included had enough strength to get a lifeboat down into the sea and row clear of the ship and rocks suddenly a strong blast of wind from the north overturned a little boat and scattered my companions i never laid my eyes on them again i began swimming in whichever direction the wind and the waves pushed me i don't know how many hours i spent struggling but just when i was completely exhausted and water seemed to be filling my lungs my feet suddenly touched bottom i took in several mouthfuls of air and looked up to heaven it must have been about 8 in the evening the storm had decreased and there was enough light to make out land about a mile away i spent the next two hours trying to drag myself towards the shore i was so weak and tired when i finally limped out of the sea that i dropped down on a patch of soft grass within moments i was sound asleep so children i've read the lesson to you now about the story gulliver's travels is jonathan swift's most famous work in english literature that tells about the adventures of lamuel gulliver a ship's doctor who because of a number of accidents ends up visiting several unknown islands which are inhabited by strange people and animals children so this is a lesson adapted from gulliver's travel and the author of the book is children jonathan swift now i'll explain children the first page of lesson that is page number 39 children here dr lamuel gulliver he is narrating the entire incident to us actually the author jonathan swift he has imagined a lot and on the basis of his imagination and that's entirely based on adventure and excitement he has written gulliver's travel and here dr lamuel gulliver he is himself 
character of the story is narrating the entire incident i'm only 42 years old still i have already had many strange adventures in my travels so far off lands of the world here dr lamuel gulliver the main character of the story he is telling us that he is just 42 years old and he has experienced many strange adventures while traveling to distant lands of the world beta wo 42 years age mein hi he has seen a lot of world and he's got many strange adventures while traveling he has faced lot of adventures while traveling to far off lands means distant land bahut beta dur dur ke uh, lands pe he has travel strange adventures aren't what you'd expect from someone named dr lemuel gulliver and he's saying that strange adventures which nobody can even think about and that he has experienced and the person who's experienced is dr lamuel gulliver but being a doctor in london just just didn't satisfy me he tells us that he was a doctor in london but he was not satisfied by being a doctor and he wanted some excitement and adventure in life traveling to distant land in the world always fascinated me here dr lamuel gulliver is saying that he was a doctor in london but then he was not satisfied with his life he wanted to do something more which was more exciting and adventurous and he always uh, had in his mind to see different places of the world uske dimag mein tha ki wo puri duniya mein ghume and dekhe and this thought of traveling in the world always attracted him somewhere in his mind it was there that he will uh, be more happy if he travels and see different places of the world so that was the fascination in his mind though he was a doctor but he wanted something more adventure adventurous and excitement in his life so after qualifying as a doctor i signed up as a ship's doctor and spent Three and a half years sailing around Europe. So after he qualified as a doctor, that means he uh, completed his studies. He got the degree of being a uh, doctor. Then he signed up. Signed up children here means uh, whenever you complete your qualification, आप अपनी पढ़ाई पूरी कर लेते हैं and when you take up a job, एक आपको agreement करना होता है कि कहीं भी कि आप अपना जॉब उस कंपनी में या कहीं भी आप जहां जॉब कर रहे हैं वहां पे अपने सर्विसेज दोगे एंड कुछ रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस होते हैं विच वन हैज टू फॉलो हर जगह जब आप जॉब करते हो तो आपको एग्रीमेंट साइन करना पड़ता है और आपको वहां के जो भी रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस होते हैं वो फॉलो करने पड़ते हैं सो नाउ डॉक्टर लैमिल गिलवर ही वॉज अ डॉक्टर बट देन ही ऑलवेज हैड इज इन इज माइंड दैट ही वॉन्टेड टू travel and see various places of the world so after qualifying as a doctor that after becoming a doctor he signed an agreement with a ship that he'll be the ship's doctor and spend 3 and a half years sailing around europe to beta doctor banne ke baad usne ek ship mein agreement sign kiya ki wo ship mein sail karega ship ka doctor banke that means he'll be treating the patients uh, sorry he'll be treating the crew jo bhi crew members honge unko agar kuch zarurat hogi to uh, ek doctor hota hai wahan pe ship mein to he signed as a doctor jo so that he could treat the crew members in an emergency wo ship ek bar beta sail kar gayi and uh, mid sea mein if somebody needs a doctor to he is there to help them to treat the crew so he signed as a ship's doctor and he spent 3 and a half years beta 3 and a half years usne unhone ship pe bitaye and around europe wo jo ship hai unka kahan kahan sail kiya europe mein hmm? 
I accepted an offer from the captain of a ship named Antelope to be the ship's doctor on a voyage to the South Sea. Hmm? So after he qualified as a doctor, he got an offer from the captain of a ship. Beta ship ka jo main hota hai, captain hota hai. Aur jo ship jis mein Dr. Lamuel Gulliver ne sign kiya tha ship's doctor, us ship ka naam tha beta Antelope. What was the name of the ship? Antelope. So Dr. Gulliver ne Antelope ship mein jo hai sign kiya ki he'll be the doctor of the ship and he started sailing. Yahan pe voyage. Voyage means a long journey. Ab this story has been written long back when it used to take months and years to cover distances when technology was not advanced. So, he started on a voyage and voyage means a long journey children. A long journey that might take months or even years to complete the journey. So, he signed as a ship's doctor and then he started to sail. And they started on a voyage to the South Sea. To the South Sea means heading towards the South. We set sail from Bristol, England. Bristol is a place in England and they started their journey from Bristol. Their journey was by ship and the name of the ship was Antelope. Dr. Lamuel Gulliver, he had signed on uh, as a ship's doctor and the name of the ship was Antelope and they started their journey from Bristol, England on May 4th, 1699. Long back children. And after peacefully crossing the South Seas, we were hit by a violent storm of the west coast of Australia. Beta 4th May 1699 ko unhone journey start ki and they headed towards South Sea ki taraf wo log unki ship aage badi. And unhone South Sea ekdam peacefully aaram se kaat liya. There was no problem in the journey. Then after crossing the South Seas, they were hit by a violent storm. Aur beta unko South Sea se aage nikalte huye hi. Ek bohat violent, powerful storm tufan mila west coast of Australia mein. Aur itna bhayanak beta wo tufan tha. Poor food and too much work while braving the storm caused the death of 12 of our crew and weakened the rest. Ab beta wo tufan itna bhayanak tha ki usse ladte ladte tufan mein. Ab, ab sochye 1699 ki baat hai. Us samay technology bhi itni advanced nahi thi. Bohat jada chije bhi nahi thi. They were cut off. Hmm? To jo crew members the us ship ke wo log Kisi tarah samna kar rahe te tufan ka. But the storm was so violent that it caused the death of 12. Better 12 crew members died because of the violent storm. Unka poor food, khana poor food, matlab khana khadam ho gaya tha aur unko kaam bhoj jada karna pad raha tha. Hmm? And weaken the rest. Ab jo 12 members, beta jin ki death ho gai storm ke karen, ab jo bache unke upar un 12 members ka kaam bhi a gaya hoga. Khana bhi unka kam ho gaya. Hmm? Because they couldn't reach the shore. To unke paas jo bacha hua tha, wo food kam ho gaya and work ka pressure. To baki jo bache huye log the, wo bhi ek dam weak ho gaya, kamjor ho gaya. So when the wind drove us onto some rocks and split the ship apart, only six, six seamen, myself included, had enough strength to get a lifeboat down into the sea and row clear of Ship and rocks. Ab beta kya hua? 12 unke crew members ki death ho gai. Ab khana bhi kam ho gaya. Pura pressure 6 crew members bache te including Dr. Lamuel Gulliver. Hmm? Ab bas yehi bache te. Aur itna te tu faan tha ki jab bohat strong wind aai to beta. Wind ne ship ko rocks pe push kiya. Sea ke beech mein badi bade rocks jo chattan jisko bolte wo te. Or was ship jab un rock se takraya, to ship jo hai split apart. Matlab split apart ho gaya, matlab alag tukro mein ho gaya. To ye jo six bache the seamen, jis mein Dr. Lemuel Gulliver bhi tha, inho ne kisi tarah se ek lifeboat, ship mein beta lifeboat hoti hai, 
एक लाइफ बोट ली और उन्होंने लाइफ बोट में बैठे कि अब शिप तो टूट गया है एंड इट माइट सिंक एनी टाइम तो इन्होंने अपनी जान बचाने के लिए एक लाइफ बोट में इन लोगों ने बोट किया एंड दे स्टार्टेड रोइंग एंड स्टार्टेड रोइंग एंड ट्राइंग टू गो टूवर्ड्स अ शोर सो वॉट हैपन चिल्ड्रन टिल नाउ वॉट वी हैव रेड दैट डॉक्टर लैम्यूल गिलेवर He is telling us that 42 years may he, unhone life may he has experienced a lot of adventure and excitement which other people of his age might not experience. He qualified as a doctor and then he became a ship's doctor and started on a voyage, long journey. And the name of the ship on which he boarded was Antelope. And then he had to take a journey of three and a half years. and what he did he started sailing and why he took up uh, why he took up to be a ship's doctor because traveling to distant lands children always fascinated him he was always wanting to travel and see various places of the world so he signed up as a ship's doctor and on may 4th 1699 he started the journey in the ship with a crew member from bristol england on may 4th 1699 and they headed towards the south sea till they reached the south sea everything was very peaceful but after they crossed the south sea a violent storm from the west coast of australia hit the ship and this caused the death of 12 of the crew members and now only six crew members were left seamen including dr lemel gilliver and they were also very much weakened because of poor food and excess of workload because jo beta 12 log jinki death ho gayi thi unka bhi kaam in log ko karna pad raha tha and suddenly a strong wind blew antelope ship towards the rock and it split it broke the ship into parts so the, the six seamen who were left including dr lemuel gilliver they took a life boat and started sailing towards the shore so till now we have read page number 39 that how dr lamuel gulliver after qualifying as a doctor he started a journey on ship and what all he has faced that will be reading ahead in our next class children please read this lesson i have sent the pdf copy on the whatsapp in the whatsapp group children so please go through it so that when i explain you will understand it better